on Sunday, and I still have Babajide Kolade Otitojun from Abuja Studio. I have Dr. Oladipo and Paul Dada in our studio here in Lagos. The resurgence of coup d'etat across Africa is putting democracy and the continent at risk. As such, President Bola Tinubu is seeking the support of the United States over threats to democracies in Africa. He advised U.S. President Envoy and Assistant Secretary of State of African Affairs, Ambassador Molly Fee, to ensure that U.S. policy is in intentionally collaborative with independent African democracies at a time when they are under assault by anti-democratic forces within and outside the continent. That's all. President Bola Tinubu seeing the trend, especially around West African countries, and this if care is not taken, might spread across more states, more countries in the West Africa, in, and in around West Africa. Yes, um, the president is right on that. But there are two issues there for me. Number one, there is no other way out for African countries than to institute good governance. What we have seen is that governance has collapsed in a lot of African countries. What we have now are people who struggle to get into government to enrich themselves and make the people that they're supposed to serve poorer. Once those who are in government understand this, I don't see how it will be possible to overrun a democratically elected government. And part of what we've seen in the Nigeria Republic, which is the most recent, is that even the people, no matter how much of bribery would have been given, are out on the streets supporting the, 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 the coup plotters, hailing them for doing what they did. So good governance, we can't take away. Number two was what President Bola Tinumbu said when he received um, letters of credence from some ambassadors. And I think I like that. And that is the fact that Africa must look inward to resolve its own issues. All of these people, including the U.S., that we are calling on to help us will only protect their own interests as far as Africa is concerned. Yeah. Let me quote the president. He said Africans need to work for the progress of Africa. We should be able to resolve our internal problems collectively. It requires a great commitment. But we must work, we must do that. No one can understand our people better than we do. Homegrown solutions are better for all of us, and the remedies will last longer. When we completely depend on foreigners to help us, they are going to come here to protect their own interests. Like I said at the time on the program, it is only Nigeria that I have seen made commitments in places like Liberia and Sierra Leone without thinking of what is in it for us. Other countries don't do it. Mm -hmm. Other countries don't do it. If we bring in a French company to Nigeria today for oil exploration, they are going to bring in their own managers into that company. Check the IOCs. Is it that we lack the, the, the personnel that can handle what we are doing now with our crew? We don't. But they are the ones who are bringing in their own investment, so they are protecting their own interests. That is what African countries must learn. You can't go and invite other countries like France or any other one to come and help you to work on your mineral resources. And you think that they are going to hand it back to you the way it is. 
Just like what is happening with our own code in Nigeria. We take it out. They refine for us. They give us only petrol or diesel at a rate that we cannot work with. It's just the same thing, inviting these other, these other countries. Their interest in Africa will purely be to serve themselves. So we must look in what? And address these issues ourselves. Because no other person can help us other than ourselves. Well, it was as if you, you, you read my thoughts. You know, uh, I, you know it, it's, it's, it's ironical, you know. It doesn't make sense. Africa is so much blessed with resources, natural resources. But we are bedeviled by bad leadership. So asking, well, President Tinubu spoke like an African leader who should, you know, an African, a key African leader. But beyond that, beyond that, we must bring good governance. Africa has suffered brain drain because of what? Bad governance. There are many people, there are many Africans who think that there is no hope for them in this continent. And that's the truth. We've had Africans, and Nigerian in particular, that have had to risk their lives, you know, migrating to the desert just to get to Europe. Many people are ready to do anything in Europe, in, to become slaves, to go into prostitution, so that they can escape the harsh realities of Africa. Doctors have run away and they are still running. The Jackpot syndrome, the, the, the degree of the, the syndrome, the, the, is higher. And you, you, Ayo, you said it the other time, you said Nigerians are now, they are, want to Jackpot to Cyprus, even countries that were not mentioned when we, mm -hmm. we didn't hear before, you know, that mm -hmm. they want to go to anywhere. Look at the one in Ukraine. A lot of Nigerian students were stranded. You know, they had to leave Ukraine because of... And why would they go to, why would they go to Ukraine in the first place? Well, we don't, well, we don't, well, we don't even speak yeah. the same oh, language. Just imagine, why would Nigerians go to a place like Sudan to study? You know, it's the mm -hmm. issue of bad governance in, 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 our, in this continent. We've had powerful men, dictators, even civilian dictators, who are not delivering, who are not delivering good life to their people. And people don't even believe in their government. Look at something in Nigeria now. I can tell you for free that even if these people don't relinquish power, one way or the other, Nigeria, we have a way of getting rid of them. The, the people in power, now because they are not going to be better, whatever excuse, whatever excuse they, they have, you know, for ousting Basum, you understand, does not mean that they are going to become, they are, in fact, they don't even look like brother intelligent from their utterances, <laughs> or their actions, they are so intelligent, they look so poor, they look so, sound so poorly educated. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? And that's the kind of, <laughs> they are the people that are trying to administer a nation, you know, sharing the affairs of their people. So what Africa needs, Africa needs to look inward and, you know, find a way of doing better for ourselves. And that's the truth. We have to do better for ourselves in this country. America is interested in America. If America comes to Nigeria, America is looking for America in Nigeria. America is looking for America anywhere America goes. Same with France. Same with the uh, UK. They are looking for their countries in other countries. Why don't we find ourselves in our various countries in, our, in, in this continent? And let's get better. All right. The leadership crisis is rocking the Liberal Party has degenerated 